Hey guys, what's up? Mark Oliveira is back here for the first time since that miraculous Spurs comeback against the Bulls. I think it was, um, let me, if memory serves me correct, that was, um, Wednesday night, yeah, Wednesday night, Wednesday night. So therefore, I'm here to talk about the Atlanta race weekend and share my thoughts on the most awkward moment of my entire 27 years of life, the Gregson Hemrick fight. So therefore, I'm just going to start off by saying today, I was looking forward to the Winston Cup Cracker Barrel 500 race today, but unfortunately, my mom had a change of plan. She couldn't cook the breaded steak like originally planned. She ended up helping my grandfather around, in, like in the garage. So I just thought, fuck it, I'll stay in bed so um yeah i saw i woke up i saw ryan blaney won my boy austin got a sixth place finish and larson dominated until Lagano held him up and leaving blaney with the lead and the win and there were a lot of salty larson fans on twitter not that i hate the guy like i used to because i don't anymore you know i talked about this in the past where after he won the All Star race in 2019, my which which actually shut me shut my ass up, and then after what he went through last year, where temporarily I went back to my old ways against him. Then when people are coming in my mentions on Twitter, said when I said he isn't coming back, I hope he never does, and all that shit. That's what kind of gave me a change of heart, you know, and kind of helped me remember lab rats, where you know back in those days in 2015, 16, and 17, it taught me a lot of life lessons and that life lessons, where including everyone deserves a second. Chance. Even Kyle Larson deserved one. So, and there was some drama on NASCAR Twitter today that I'm glad I missed because that's usually how it goes. I was asleep all day. There was um, a Lars, a salty Larson fan that said he he. Let's just say it in a more like more proper way. He wished death on Logano, saying I he like he he put it on Twitter. I don't follow this guy or know him, but his words not mine. He tweeted, I quote, I hope Logano kills himself or something like that. I he that was someone screenshot of that and like sent it to me as like come when I asked like what did I miss, you know. I mean, the thing is, if someone, let's say someone cost Austin a win that way, would I be upset? Yeah, but I wouldn't, like, wish the driver any ill or something. I mean, you, you can dislike an athlete, whether it be a NASCAR driver, an NBA player, or anybody in general, any person in general, but at the same time, you do not want to see them pass away, you know what I'm saying? You know, that includes family, too. There may be some family members that piss you off, too. But at the same time, even if they do, you just do not want to see them pass away. You, know, you all got to come together when someone, even so, whenever someone pisses you off. Like, whenever they pass away, you all got to come together. So, therefore, that's usually how life is. You just do not want to be, like, I mean, if the person was a really sick person, you know, like, he that shall not be named. You can ask Black Flags Matter about that. Darian Gilliam, subscribe to his channel. Link in the description. Might as well put that out there. Um, you know, if you're, it's a sick, sick, uh, awful person. That's different. But anybody, like anybody in general, you do not want to see them pass away as much as you dislike them. I mean, you know, because I learned out throughout my younger years, not every single person is gonna like you. Where for me, I try to like everybody, um, even if even if you know they piss me off at times. So anyway, yeah. So I'm gonna talk about the Atlanta race weekend, and then before I do that, I just want to let you all know that um, sometime tomorrow after the Spurs game, after the after I do the Spurs, well, yeah, here's what I'm gonna, gonna do tomorrow. Like, after the Spurs-Hornets game, regardless if they win or lose, I'm going to combine, like, my review of, like, um... Okay. I, I said I was going to talk about the... Sorry about that. I was drinking Coke, and so I had a little small burp out. So what I was talking about, like, um... You know, I already talked about the Spurs-Bulls game, so what I'm going to do is, like, come by tomorrow after the Spurs Hornets-Spurs game, I'm going to combine, um, you know, me talk, I'm going to combine, like, the Spurs-Cavs, the Spurs-Bucks, and Hornets-Spurs games all in one review tomorrow after the game, so you'll see that here on my YouTube channel. So anyway, let's talk about Atlanta, and then I have to get, and I'll give one more update, and then I'll be done for the night. Okay, so truck, I did not get to see the truck race because I went to get a haircut with my, me and my dad went to get a haircut with our cousin Kenny, so I didn't get to the truck race, but I did see Xfinity, Xfinity, I did see that, 
I mean, um, that was a very chaotic race, to say the least. And it sucks that we have to look forward to Xfinity more than Cup nowadays, considering it used to be the other way around when I was a little kid in the early 2000s. That's just goes to, that just goes to show you how old I am as a NASCAR fan. So, because back when Cup, Cup used to be exciting under the Winston and Nextel and even the Sprint banner. Yeah, so therefore... It was very chaotic, like Brett Moffat and Brandon Jones. I feel bad for Brandon. I'm not going to like it. It's crazy to think for me to feel bad for him. I used to hate that guy myself. Like, I feel bad for him, honest to God. He and Moffat collided, and they got Noah. And Noah got them good repairs and made that baby better and drove as high as third. But then, you know, he had that little pit road incident with my other driver, Hemrick, which I'll discuss in a minute. But, like, um, I forget who won that race again. Oh yeah, an Allgaier. Good for Justin Allgaier. I mean, he's he's one of the old vets in the Xfinity series, but at least he knows how to just to still do stuff at his age and still win races like he did at Dover last fall. Even like, good for him. I thought Truex was going to win that race. I thought he had that race won until he got busted for speeding, and that's what really did him. And sorry, notifications are popping up on my phone, and they just won't fuck off. Okay, so um. I thought Truex was going to win that race for sure. And, um, you know, but then he got busted for speeding. And he, the highest he could get after that speeding penalty was second place. So, therefore, okay, so now let's, th I'm going to share my thoughts on the whole Noah Gregson, Daniel Hemrick fight. I'm not on anybody, it's, I'm not on either one of them's side. It's not because I thought boy, they, they were both in the wrong. It's because, well, here's the why. Because I'm neutral. I'm just neutral. I'm like 50-50. I'm, I'm like half on Gregson side, half on Hemrick's side because I'm a huge fan of both. I've met them both. I actually met, wait, I've met Hemrick one, two, three times. I've met Hemrick three times, Noah one. So I've met him a combined four times. And they and considering I've met them, they I met them both and vice versa. They've met me and they both know I exist. It was awkward as hell for me to watch. But I was joking with my mom on the phone when she left to go to the store and the right before the fight happened. Like I'm like, were they? Um, I was joking with my mom. Sorry about that notification popped up on my phone. But like I was joking with my mom on the phone who was shopping for, for at the store for snacks for me. Like, man, why would they? I bet they weren't even thinking about me. They were just thinking about that disagreement they had in the pit lane. That disagreement actually didn't even come on the track. It came in the pits, as you all saw. So me and my mom were joking how Hemrick and Gregson, considering they've met me a combined total of four times, grid Hemrick meeting me more than Gregson. Gregson was only once in June 2019. All right, MIS. And so it was like Greg Sitton and Hemrick were not thinking about me at all. They were just thinking about their disagreement in the pit lane. So, I mean, I mean, in a parallel universe where they were thinking about me and the fight happened, they're probably like, man, what is Mark going to say about this? So obviously, yeah, they weren't thinking about me at all whatsoever. <laughs> Even though they've met me and know I existed, I know I exist. So therefore, I'm just neutral on that part. I'm half on Greg's inside, half on Hemrick's side because... I just do not want to pick and choose one over the other because, you know, I don't want to like make, make either one or the other, one driver or the other mad because I'm siding with one over the other and two. I do not want to like get any heat from fans. So it was crazy to say the least. I mean, Josh Berry, I mean, I thought he was going to save that car and then he got in the grass and it tore up the splitter like Terry Labonte. Either go back to the Valence or go bring that AstroTurf into every single track with grass so you don't have to put up with that problem. So that's all I wanted to come here and talk about. And so, like, after I do, like, the combined Hornets Spurs, Spurs Bucks, and Spurs Cavs review, you will see my, like, Spurs Cavs blog, uh, sp blog. I meant to say Spurs Cavs vlog, in which the video is going to be titled Spurs Cavs blog. No. Sp no. Let me try that again. The video is going to be titled, I keep getting these words mixed up, so I apologize for that. The, um, the, the video is going to be called, titled, um, I quote, Spurs Cavs Vlog, not blog, vlog, Spurs Cavs Vlog, attending an NBA game during a pandemic with my father, or as I call him, Daddy-O. So therefore, you're going to be seeing that on, I'm going to like edit it after I'm done recording this, and then 
hopefully import the edited movie to the computer and add my own music and shit. So I will see you all tomorrow night. So I'm going to be going to bed early tonight and so I can enjoy the weather tomorrow before the Spurs game. So have a good night tonight and a better day tomorrow. Next week is the Bristol Dirt, dirt Race, the Food City 500 Dirt Race. So take care, everyone. Good night.